I think that Ford, Mark Fields is under pressure. The stock has been endlessly down since he came in. Uh, but the same way, you know, you could argue that about GM. I think the hidden thing that was in that that really intrigued me was the CTO came out and said, and it might have been a separate interview, that he's willing to do a deal with Waymo. Now, I spent some time in Silicon Valley with Ford where they're developing the, their autonomous car, which requires, you know, uh, millions of chips. And, 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 you know, to get it right, I mean, you have to put a lot of chips in a car. And what I think is interesting was that they said they might be willing to partner with Waymo. Waymo is with Fiat. Now, Waymo wants to be Switzerland. They are making their own chips. Uh, Waymo is Alphabet. And when I was in their car, now the way you measure, and this is really important, the way you measure how a driverless car company is doing is you go to the California Motor Vehicles and you look for engagement. Engagement means how many times did they have to disengage or engage in order to be able to stay on the road. And Waymo has by far the best record. Ford does not. So if you can imagine, you have to get behind the wheel uh, too often with Ford versus what's going on with Waymo. So this is very positive for Action Alert's name, Alphabet.